Hi YouTubers, it's Smoke Hissy Sarasana Ganda for the uh, second, video, second video today. So the last video I did was on toy pipes, don't buy them, and we'll upload this pretty quickly, or upload that video pretty, quick, pretty quickly, pretty soon. This is going to be another uh, rent topic, uh, actually health related topic, so I understand a lot of you don't like health related topics, so if you don't like health related topics, click off right now. Nobody's obligating you to watch the video, so without further ado, let me begin the topic as soon as I clear my throat. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So, the topic I want to cover right now is going to be actually a little bit of a long video. So, again, if you're not into watching long videos, don't watch the video. If you don't like health related topics, don't watch the video. Now, this is going to be um, which causes more irritation? Pipe smoking or, sorry, smoking or smokeless tobacco? So, you have pipes, cigars, cigarettes, hookah, then you have, or cigarellos. Then you have smokeless tobacco like chew, dip, snooze, uh, that kind of stuff. And kind of snuff, but that's more up your nose. So, um, I want to discuss this video, this is going to be a little bit of a long video, on which causes more irritation to your mouth. Obviously, no tobacco use is good for you. It all causes some irritation when you're putting it in your mouth. Whether it's chew, whether it's pipe smoking, whether it's cigar smoking, whether it's cigarette smoking, or dip. So, which causes more irritation to your mouth? Now, let me begin by saying, how do I want to begin this video? I want to begin by saying, a lot of people, um, if you've watched like Mud Jug's videos, you know, Mud Jug was videos, he's great. He does a lot of videos on, you know, how smokeless tobacco is better for you in a lot of ways than smoking, and how you probably have a, a far lower a risk of cancer by using smokeless over smokeless, smoking tobacco, like burning tobacco. But I want to discuss which causes more benign irritation. So, you have two different levels of irritation from um, tobacco use. You have the irritation that actually causes cancer, that can cause like mouth cancer, gum cancer, throat cancer, that kind of stuff. Then you have what's called benign irritation, which is a non-malignancy. -mal so, malignancy, if you don't know, means cancer. It means actual cancer of the mouth, cancer of the throat. Um, so, in this video, which causes more irritation, pipe smoking or or not pipe smoking, to smoking or smokeless tobacco? So, when it comes to benign irritation, from what I've read and what I've heard, I could be dead wrong. Uh, so don't blame me if I'm dead wrong. And please, no nasty comments on this video, please. Um, I, from what I've seen and what I've read, I think smokeless tobacco, meaning chewing tobacco, dipping tobacco, um, American smokeless tobacco, it tends to cause more benign irritation to the mouth in a quicker amount of time than um, smoking. And, and before you write comments like, you know, that's dead wrong, you're completely wrong, how dare you say that, just let me, just hear me out. Um, I, from what I've heard and what I've read, um, the reason why if you're dipping or you're um, chewing, that can cause more, you probably have a, a far lower risk of actual cancer in your mouth and cancer in your throat because you are not consuming those 4,000 plus chemicals in your mouth. But you probably have a higher risk of what's called benign irritation, such as gum recession, uh, gum irritation, that kind of stuff from um, smokeless. Now from smoking, from s pipes and cigars, even though you're not inhaling the smoke, even though you're not, you know, breathing the smoke in your lungs and you're just blowing it out, you're still getting some irritation from the, the smoke in your mouth. But the reason why the smokeless tobacco, because I've, I've seen people post fit comments on like uh, Mud Jugs videos, I've lost videos, which are great videos by the way, saying that, you know, they've, they've been dipping for a couple of years, they already have gum recession, they already have um, gum irritation. And the basic, the reason why that can cause quicker benign irritation is the rubbing of the dip in your lip, especially the dip in your lip, that can cause um, benign irritation. So, while the um, smoking, even though that it's in your mouth, in your throat, and you're blowing it out, it can cause more, it can cause irritation, but not as quick amount of time. Like, quick story right here, I started smoking on my 18th birthday, I didn't notice canker sores or benign irritation for like a year. While people who dip and chew, 
they can notice um, irritation as quick as a couple weeks. So I think it's fair to say that if you're if you're looking from a health point of view and you're looking at it like um <clears throat> in terms of like benign irritation, you're probably more apt to get more irritation in your mouth from dipping and chewing than you are from s smoking. Uh, but you're more likely to get actual cancer long term from smoking than you are from dipping or chewing. If that makes sense. So if that makes sense too. So people who smoke cigarettes, cigars and pipes and hookah, whatever, are more likely to are more apt to get um, oral cancer long term than people who dip and chew. But people who dip and chew are more likely to get the benign irritation in short term because of the rubbing effect of the dip. So I'm not sure. I mean, it's an interesting topic because I've read different things on online, you know, I've seen um, people comment on a lot in um, Mudjex videos. It's like, I wonder why, you know, or I don't wonder, but um, people are like, you know, I get irritation on my gums and I've only been dipping for a couple weeks, you know. It seems that the smokeless tobacco, the oral smokeless tobacco, not the nasal snuff, can cause more benign irritation quicker while the um, smoking can cause less benign irritation um, quicker but can cause a higher risk of oral cancer long term. I'm not sure. I mean, it's really, I, I'm not an expert on smokeless tobacco by any means. I am a smoker myself. I am a pipe and cigar smoker solely. So give me your thoughts. Comment, subscribe if you want to. And bye.